Hey guys, it's Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a very simple high of spray that you can use to cure baldness, you know, thinning hair, get your hair nice and thick. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video so you don't miss out on any step and any useful information. Now before we get into it guys, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support and if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to dive into the video. Now the first ingredient we're going to need to make this overnight high growth spray will be some star anise. Now star anise helps significantly in developing new hair and also it allows you to grow your hair a lot faster. Now star anise also repairs damaged hair. It protects them from splitting and is ideal for dyed or damaged hair in general. So I used about five um, small stannies. So essentially I'm gonna go in next with some cinnamon. Now cinnamon also helps with hair growth. It can also be helped to treat scalp acne and reduce hair breakage and split ends. So it's really good if you're suffering from hair loss or thinning hair because it will certainly help you regrow your hair a lot faster as well. Now the next one guys will be some cardamom pots. So cardamom pots make your hair very nice and shiny. It contains potassium, calcium, iron, magnesium and phosphorus and these help to promote hair growth. Along with this, cardamoms are also effective at removing dandruff which is really good to have in your regimen. Now we are also going to use some black tea. So the tea that I'm using here is English breakfast tea, but it's just your regular uh, black tea. Now the high caffeine content that is present in black tea does help to support a healthy scalp and hair as it stimulates the hair follicles. It may also play a role in stop, um, stopping the hormone called uh, DHT and this is a hormone that has been associated with shortening the hair growth cycle and making your hair shorter and thinner so if you can block that hormone essentially you can promote healthy and faster hair growth so I added about two glasses of water to this and I'm just going to bring it to the boil until you can see that the cardamom parts have started to darken a bit in color and also the star anise has started to soften a bit as well now, after you boiled it for about 10 minutes, just take it off the stove, allow it to cool down, and we're pretty much ready to strain it. Okay, guys. So I just thought I'll show you guys what the color of the cardamom pots um, were looking like. So you can see it's definitely got a bit darker in color, and also everything else has released its color. So you can see the liquid that I've got here is nice and dark, so that's really good. So essentially, after it's cooled down, you just want to go ahead and sieve it, and it's really simple to do just using a regular sieve, or if you don't have this, use any other thing that you have available. Okay guys, so once you're done sieving it, that's pretty much it, you are ready to use. So you just wanna go ahead and pop it in a spray bottle and you're pretty much good to go. Now stick with me, because I'm gonna show you how you can use it to maximize results in the next few slides. So definitely be sure that you keep on watching. Now this spray is very, very good because it can help speed up hair growth, it can help you treat bald spots, or thicken your hair, prevents hair loss and thinning of your hair. So definitely, definitely worth using. And some of you guys get quite confused when it comes to um, my recipes, especially those that are new to my channel, um, because they're like, you've got so many recipes, finally what works, I mean, which one works? And to be completely honest guys, they all work. You just need to be consistent with them and you will definitely see results all the time. Now, one thing that I would say is that my videos are ideas, okay? So because I post all these things doesn't necessarily mean that you have to use them all, okay? So you pick and choose 
what you want to try based on the benefits that I give you guys. I always tell you what each ingredient is going to do for you. So you can pick and choose what spray you want to use and make sure that you're consistent with it. Okay, be consistent. If you're consistent enough, you will definitely, definitely see results. Now I have people outside of YouTube that I've given these recipes to and they have certainly had really, really great results because they were consistent with it. On top of that, guys, like I always say, exercising is great it's not just about what you apply to your hair it's also what you put inside of your body so you need to make sure that you exercise you eat well you drink your water and basically you will see the results coming through our hair grows every single day and if you do suffer from alopecia or thinning hair or basically like hair loss in general you just need to sometimes just look at your lifestyle as well and also the things that you do when it comes to your regimen so I think I've talked enough about that already but I just thought I would clear this out because I do get this question asked a lot okay so essentially what you want to do with this spray is just spray it to your scalp if you got you know uh, board patches spray it there to be honest spray all over and just make sure that you massage as well and then just so you can see here i'm going in with an oil as well i have showed you guys how to make this oil i think it's the video um, before this one um, if you haven't seen it i will link it in the description box so go ahead and check that out so essentially you just want to apply oil to this afterwards and then go ahead and massage your scalp okay massage your scalp guys it is really really important when it comes to stimulating the follicles to in, in order to promote hair growth in general okay guys so after you've done that you can then go ahead and style your hair how you would normally do now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this i would say twice a week is a good regimen is a good way to start now our hair naturally thrives in moisture so if you moisturize your hair regularly it will definitely get longer over time because the hair that's going out is not breaking and that's what essentially will give you length over time so yeah it's just really important to moisturize as often as possible and twice a week is such a good time you can just moisturize and go so spray and go if you got conroys on or if you got braids or any sort of protect style you got on just spray and go you don't necessarily have to fiddle with your hair but obviously if you need styling just like i'm doing here go ahead and style your hair afterwards so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i do hope that you've enjoyed watching the video and if you did please please give it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and yeah i would really appreciate it and also share the video because there probably will be somebody out there that actually needs this video so go ahead and share it and also if you try this guys let me know what your results are or if you've got any questions let me know in the comment section down below i always read them and i try my best to answer them as well so yeah i think that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching until next time bye